Let's do some math for fun. Here, I'm going to show you guys a totally unnecessary way to integrate secant squared x. And you guys should tell me that the answer to this is just tangent x plus c, because the derivative of tangent x is just secant squared x, right? However, I have an old video exactly just on that. It is 20 seconds long, and yes, it has over 11,000 views. Unfortunately, if you look at the likes and dislike ratio, it's about 50-50%. That's not that great. Therefore, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how we can torture ourselves to integrate secant square x without knowing the fact that the derivative the tangent x is exactly secant square x. Anyway, the first step is, let's just look at this as 1 over cosine square x, all right? That's a good strategy to deal with secant, right? Okay, now, if you look at this integral, this is not that great because we don't have a lot of things to work with. Because ideally speaking, I wish to have a sine x on the top, so that I can just do this by u sub, isn't it? And I don't want to multiply the sine x on the top and on the bottom, because once I have the sine x on the bottom, I think that's going to be bothering us later on. So let me not do that. However, I still want to come up with more things to work with, right? Okay, here we have 1, and on the bottom, we have cosine square x. Do we know any identities that involves the 1? and also cosine square x, and maybe something else. Yes, we do, right? We have a famous one. Sine square x plus cosine square x is equal to 1. And we can totally look at that backwards, isn't it? So now let's look at the 1 as sine square x plus cosine square x. How is this? And keep in mind, sometimes when we're doing integrals, the more the better, all right? And this is why I'm bringing this up. So now let's integrate we can also split the fraction. Let me put this down first. This is sine square x over cosine square x. And then we'll be adding this with cosine square x over cosine square x, which is just 1, right? That is so nice, right? And then we have the dx right here. And now, let's look at this. How can we integrate sine square x over cosine square x? And yes, I know, this is just the integral of tangent square x. Unfortunately, I cannot tell you guys to go back to watch my old video to integrate tangent square x. Because to integrate tangent square x, we usually use the fact that the integral of secant square x is equal to tangent x. So, I will have to do this right here with a different approach, okay? And of course, we can totally integrate 1 in the x world. This is just going to be x, so that's easy. Let's focus on this right here. And let's do that on the side with my blue marker. So let's integrate. Okay, now if you just focus on this right here. Yes, I have the sine x on the top, but unfortunately, this is to the second power, sine squared x, right? Well, I really just want to have a sine x on the top over cosine squared x, so that I can just do that integral by u sub. And even though here I have two factors of sine x, what can we do? Well, let me just break it apart, because remember, I know how to integrate this part, right? Sine x over cosine square x. I know how to integrate this part. And once I separate them, this is going to be multiplying by another sine x factor, like this, right? I know how to integrate this part, and this is just an innocent sine x function. I can just differentiate this, right? And you see, why don't we do this by integration by parts. Because I can integrate this, this is just really innocent. So let's do that. And of course, I'll show you guys with the di method to do integration by parts, right? For the d and then the i. I'm going to integrate this sine x over cosine squared x, and I will differentiate sine x. And don't forget the sines on the side. Two rows is enough. Let's differentiate sine x first, which is going to give us cosine x. And now, let's integrate sine x over cosine square x. We have to do this by u sub. Let me just do it real quick for you guys. From here to here is 1 over cosine x. I'm not going to put this down as secant x yet, because this is just my integration by parts part with the DM method. Okay, so for this right here, we know the answer is going to be this times that, 
pass the sine x times 1 over cosine x, right? And let me just put down all the work. Positive sine x times 1 over cosine x. And remember, the product of each row it is still an integral. So we have to subtract integral of this times that, which is cosine x times 1 over cosine x dx, like this, OK? And now you see, this right here, it's the part of the answer already. Sine over cosine is tangent x. And this is minus integral. This and that cancel, so we have to minus the integral 1, right? And you see, this is just tangent x minus the integral 1 is just x. You don't put on a plus z here, because this is just the appetizer. Here is the main dish, right? OK, so now, at the end, you will see that this is going to be the integral of this right here is the blue result right here, right? It is tangent x minus x. And we have to integrate the positive 1 in the x world, which is just plus x. This is tangent x. And we are done. At the end, put plus c. This is it. And hopefully, for the people who used to dislike my previous video, you guys are satisfied now. That's it.